Without question, California is a land of many diverse and beautiful landscapes. But there is also an abundance of often undiscovered beauty that lies just beyond our own doorstep. If you think you have to have a green thumb or that it may be expensive to achieve beautiful landscape results, it's time for you to think smart and get with the program, the Smart Gardening Program. But before we go on, let's see just how high your Smart Gardening IQ is. Do you know what worms eat? Dirt. You know what composting is? You have rotted food throw it in a bucket. I know that's how you start a good garden. You can throw a whole lot of things in the backyard. How much water do you think we use a day for watering our lawns? About a pound. A lot. What do you know about worm tea? I know very little about worm tea, except it sounds really gross. Worm tea? <laughs> no way. Well, that's, that's out of my, <laughs> I've never heard of worm tea. If your answers were just as astute as theirs, we recommend using this video as a study guide on how to think smart and get with the program, the Smart Gardening Program. The Smart Gardening Program was created by the County of Los Angeles Department of Public Works as a proactive community service to give residents easy and sensible gardening techniques to help beautify homes, save time and money, reduce the vast amounts of yard and food waste that are filling up our landfills, cut back on runoff containing pollutants that go into our oceans, and preserve and protect the overall health and well-being of our natural environment. Anyone, regardless of age, can make our environment cleaner, greener, and healthier. All it takes to make a world of difference are just a few simple gardening techniques. In fact, everything you need to know about sprucing up your home, lawn, and garden can be found in the following Think Smart, Get With The Program segments. Take backyard composting, for example. It's one of the simplest and most productive methods a smart gardener can use. It goes a long way towards making our environment green and healthy while beautifying, enhancing, and improving our own backyard. Composting is a decomposition of organic materials. It's managing color-coordinated waste materials in such a manner that you speed up decomposition. That's right, he said color-coordinated waste products which in this case means dividing our waste into greens and browns. In the green category, we'd include things like grass and garden trimmings, green leaves, fruits and vegetable scraps. In the brown category are items like wood chips and sawdust, pine and fir needles, straw and hay, shredded paper, coffee grounds and filters, even stale bread. When your compost matures to a dark, crumbly brown and smells like fresh, turned earth, it's time to harvest the organic soil conditioner. This usually takes about three to six months from the beginning of composting, but by keeping the bin full, you'll continually get new compost and put it to work where it will do the most good. To learn more on backyard composting, view the entire segment titled Groundwork Backyard Composting. Let's look at an alternative method of composting. Worm composting is a technique that relies on the natural abilities of these harmless and industrious garden helpers. This not only reduces the amount of waste we throw away, but recycles our table scraps into a natural organic soil supplement that helps produce a richer, greener landscape. Earthworms are expert tunnelers that not only aerate our lawns, but also serve as a natural garbage disposal. They are very good at eating discarded food scraps such as coffee grounds and their filters, tea bags, bread, stale bread, you name it. The worms then recycle our garbage into healthy, organic, rich fertilizer that nourishes the soil. To learn more on worm composting, view the entire segment titled Hidden Helpers Worm Composting. Of all of nature's plant life, one of the most abundant and visible is grass. It's the one form of vegetation we're most likely to take for granted, but it's also one of the easiest to recycle. The key to grass recycling starts right here. Anyone who has a lawn has spent many weekends dreading this chore. With grass recycling, you don't need to rake it or bag it. Just leave the clippings where they fall because they're actually more effective staying right where they are. This keeps our lawns vibrant and healthy by returning the nutrients back into the soil. Any more will do as long as you leave the clippings where they are. 
Newer mowers are designed for mulching. They clip the grass into finer pieces, but you can purchase a mulching kit or a mulching blade to do this with your existing mower. To learn more on grass recycling, view the entire segment titled Greener Pastures, Grass Recycling. In an effort to ensure that our water supply remains plentiful, the Smart Gardening Program instituted Waterwise Gardening, a new concept in yard and garden care that keeps our homes and communities green while cutting our water usage by more than 50%. Believe it or not, a typical family actually uses more than 500 gallons of water in a single day. Of that amount, over 30% is used to water their yards and gardens. Fortunately, as this water conservation garden at Castaic Lake Water Agency proves, even in a semi-desert, we can still enjoy green and healthy yards and gardens, while cutting our normal water usage by more than half. That's right, more than half. And that's significant because most of our water is imported from somewhere else. Millions of gallons are drawn from the Colorado River. Millions more flow from northern and central California through the California aqueduct. Naturally, bringing all this water in from somewhere else is expensive. One of the most effective ways to save water is to dress your yard or garden with native or drought tolerant plants that don't require a lot of water to survive, but bring a beautiful and natural look to any landscape. To learn more on water wise gardening, view the entire segment titled Water Type Water Wise Gardening. This last smart gardening technique, which helps protect homes and property from raging brush fires, is Fire Wise Gardening. In an effort to help minimize the threat of fire, the Smart Gardening Program has devised a few easy, sensible, fire wise gardening techniques to help protect lives and homes from perishing in a fiery natural inferno. Every year, the hills and canyons of Los Angeles County are threatened by dangerous wildfires. Well, it's important to understand that we need to follow a series of steps in order to create a good firewise landscape. The idea is to create areas of defensible space between your home and any advancing fire. Not only is firewise gardening safe and easy, but it could be all that stands between this and this. So protect yourself, your neighbors, and the environment by thinking smart and getting with the program. After all, when you live out here, a little smarts can help you make the environment safer. To learn more on FireWise Gardening, view the entire segment titled The Green Shield, FireWise Gardening. Discover other smart gardening techniques that can show you how to make a world of difference to your home, your community, and the environment. For more information on the Smart Gardening Program and how to receive the entire video, call 1-888-CLEAN-LA or visit the website at www.smartgardening.com. Call or log on today to discover how you can think smart and get with the program.